expert, I would like to come back to your video, Creator vs. Non-Doer. When this life is over, you say, we see that it was just a happening, no more than a puff of wind, a huge mind game. While in retrospect and in our meditation, we experience this to be true. We ex can experience that life is a hologram because every movement can be brought back to the stillness of the ocean. Usually, while immersed into our daily lives, this is not part of our experience. This life seems real. The separate identities seem real. And we have to deal with our emotions, our reactions, relationship issues, financial problems, and so on and so forth. People who hear of this concept of life being a mind game sometimes say, well, if life is an illusion and a mind game, why bother? So it can be used in order not to participate fully in this life. Could you say a little bit, Bert, about how this concept of life being a mind game could be of value in our everyday lives. Thank you. Thank you very much for a, for a very good question. Um, and as far as the benefits of knowing it's a mind game, wow, there is no limit to, to the joy and imagination and creativity that can come from knowing it's a mind game and it is not serious. First of all, let, let me say this. When we think that life is very serious and we see the separation and we see the men's inhumanity to men and wars and political intrigues that are um, corrupting the, the world of illusion, we, we suffer tremendously because of this separation and seriousness. But what if we really saw the truth that the world we think to be so real is really an illusion, a mind game? Wow then the moment we know it's an illusion we have access to great imagination and creativity we can make our world the way we want it it becomes a dream come true so to speak for example uh, if the world was not an illusion we would have no Walt Disney we would have no Santa Claus we would have no movies we would have no romance we would have no beauty you know we would have no real joy in in the expression of our creativity we can make the world any way we want to and when you know that it's not real then we can even enjoy it because we don't take it seriously but you see you might say but won't it become an escape not really because when you start enjoying the freedom of being creative something else happens it brings you to the moment and when something brings you to the moment you live fully in the now moment then something else also happens that this moment has no exit this now has no end point and so you begin to see that beyond the illusion lies a reality that is so glorious that it defies even our imagination in its joy and, and glory. First of all, knowing that there is no exit to now, there is also timelessness and therefore non-change in the timelessness. In other words, there is no beginning or end. And so there is no end to the kind of capacity we can create. And yes, that all creation is an illusion. But I love illusion. I love movies. I love romance. I love. Uh, I love Santa Claus. I love Christmas. I love celebrations. And not taking them seriously also makes the enjoyment even more lasting. But then again, at the back of it all, you know that there is a greater reality that is not an illusion. And that is the timeless now. There is no beginning or end.
there is just an ever-growing, ever-expanding dimensions upon dimensions. In fact, even our imagination cannot conceive of the glory of being, beingness itself. So yes, knowing it's a mind game is a great, great asset because it brings us back to that innocence of the moment and then the moment will take us all the way back beyond the illusion itself which seems contradictory but it isn't because it is true enjoyment that we find joy and joy is an ending it's an expression of being thank you